What's up guys, it's Riley here, and I'm going to show you how to use Jupyter Notebooks and Condit environments in the best way possible. I'm going to show you how you can have access to multiple different kernels while running in the same Jupyter Notebook. So let's say I wanted to switch over to Python 3, I just click the different kernel, and boom, I'm in a whole different Python environment within Conda. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are inside of Ubuntu 18. And I'm assuming that you've just installed Conda or Miniconda. And I do have a tutorial on that, which you can go watch right now. So to start off, we're going to activate our base environment. Then we're going to install two packages that are going to be necessary to pull off this trick. We're obviously going to need Jupyter. And we're going to need something called IPyKernel. So go ahead and install those. and um, Conda is going to do its thing. I already have these installed, but you're going to have to type yet, hit yes or Y and then press enter to accept the installation. All right, so let's go ahead and boot up a Jupyter Notebook instance just to see what we're working with. And I just have this untitled notebook here. So right now we only have one kernel, which is to be expected because we just installed it. But let's say we want to have the Python 2 environment and we also want to have a Python 2 notebook. We want to have access to that Conda environment in our Jupyter notebook. Well, let's see how we can do about that. So Conda, first we need to create our Python 2 environment and this is how you do that with Conda. So Python, you just specify that Python equals whatever version you want. It's going to go ahead and create that environment and then we're going to do Conda activate Python 2 if we jump into a Python thing right here, we can see that it's Python 2.7. Okay, so now we need to create the Pyth we need to create the kernel that can be accessed within Jupyter Notebook. Now we need to install uh, some package that we can do that with. And that's called IPyKernel. We don't need to install Jupyter because we already installed that in the base environment. We just need this IPyKernel package. Okay, so that's installed. Now what we can do is we can run this installation command where we install a Python 2 kernel. So just go ahead and paste that in and it says installed kernel spec Python 2 uh, to whatever directory the, that your conda is installed in. So now let's refresh this and see if it's here. And bada bing, bada boom, it's here. So now I just clicked on it, switched over to it, and now when we run this, it should be 2.7, and it is. I'm a genius. You're welcome. So let's say down the line, we're done with this. We finished our project and we're done with this environment. Well, first we need to uninstall the kernel spec that we just created. And we actually, even though we installed it from this uh, Condit environment, which you, you have to install it from the respective Conda environment, right? Otherwise, it's not going to work. You also have to install it, un you have to uninstall it, excuse me, uninstall it from the base environment. I'm not really sure why, but that's just the way it is. So we're going to Conda activate base, and then we need to run um, another command to uninstall it. So we're going to run this uninstall command to uninstall well, first, let's go ahead and just list out all of our kernels right now. And just, let's say, because we might forget what it was named. So we can see that Python 2 and Python 3 are here. We want to delete the Python 2 one. Please don't delete the default. That might mess things up. But we know, we, we, we remembered that we created the Python 2. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. So we're going to run this uninstall command right here and uninstall Python 2. Remove one kernel, yes. Boom, it's gone. Just like that. Snap my fingers, Thanos. All right, the next thing to do is to remove this conda environment that we created. If we do conda environment list, we still have that Python 2 environment, and now we need to delete that because we're done with our project. So to do that, we just use this, conda remove dash dash name Python 2, which is the name of our conda environment and the dash dash all. Yes, I do want to delete it. Thank you very much. Now we run our conda environment list. 
boom, it's gone. Snap the fingers. All right. So let's go ahead and reload our Jupyter Notebook and see. Yes, I want to leave. Goodbye. And see what kind of kernels we're working with. Kernel, change kernel, Python 3. We're going to run this. It's Python 3. Well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. That's how you install many different kernels into one Jupyter Notebook. So anytime that you want to access your many kernels, you just do conda activate and you run your Jupyter Notebook from base. Always run Jupyter Notebook from base and you will always have access to all of your kernels. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up. If you didn't, please leave a comment. Let me know how I can prove. As always, have a good one, guys.